Well, well. Look who finally arrived. How'd it go? These guys were freaks. That's the last time I'll ever have two guys at once. Yeah, well, I hope you two keep your mouth shut. Seriously, though? These guys were into some pretty sick shit. Oh, yeah? Like what? <laughs> You're such a fucking pervert. I know. All right. Let's see it. Cell phone lights work? Hey, you take it or leave it, honey. I should cut out your tongue for talking to me like that. Look, I've had a long night, okay? I just want to go to bed. Me too. Whoa, whoa. Where do you think you're going? I'm getting too tired yet. You saved a little for me tonight, didn't you? No, no, I'm really tired. Oh, Stop. come on. No, I don't want to fuck right now, okay? Come on. What's this? Come on, let's just go to bed. You didn't answer my question, Tosh. Where'd this come from? I'm sorry, baby. I was going to tell you. Come on, let me make it up to you right now. Ah! You gonna make it up to me? Oh, no, please, Joe, no! You think you're gonna take my money? Huh? You're supposed to show me everything. Everything! You hear me? <laughs> Yo, I think you should calm down, man. I think you're taking this a little too far. Shut up! <laughs> you see us dash the money away? Hmm? You know anything about this? No, I swear. You better hope and pray. I don't find out you're lying to me. Yo, that's enough! Is it? Monica, you think she's had enough? Yes, please. Just stop. Well, I'd like to. But you see, I have a problem. I can't trust her anymore. If somebody breaks my trust, this is what happens, you see? This is what happens when you don't play by my rules. Please. Are you watching? Are you watching? Open your eyes! So don't fuck with my money. You do. And I'll kill you. <laughs> Get rid of her. He just left. Hello, Jonathan. 
You remember me, don't you? The name's Jones. Harold Jones. You must remember. Sorry, but I don't believe we've ever met. Really? You must remember me. Or my associates, Mr. Williams and Mr. Bale. You must have me confused with someone else. Well, enough of the small talk. We really only have one question for you, Jones. What did you do with our money? What are you talking about? <coughs> it's really not that hard of a question. <coughs> now, I'm about to tell you something that may come as a shock, old buddy, so try and remain calm. According to your doctor, who unfortunately is no longer with us, you should start to remember everything once I let you in on this information. You killed my doctor? Well, no. I couldn't just kill anyone I had no prior quarrel with. But Mr. Bale here took a great pleasure in taking care of that situation. In order to eliminate the suspense, I'll just be perfectly blunt with you. You killed a man several months ago. We'll call him Mr. White. You also took a very important briefcase he was carrying with him at the time. In it, $50 million in bonds. Of course, that's not all. Mr. White was a friend of ours, Jonathan, a very valuable businessman. Had he still been alive today, that briefcase could have been made double what it's already worth. So you see, Jonathan, your poor judgment has been costing us. It's a mistake. I've never killed anyone in my life. You see, you've got this illness, short-term memory loss. Oh, come on, John, don't be so naive. It all pieces together. Well, piece it together for me, asshole, because I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Then tell me who you are, Jonathan. Kiss my ass. You can't. It won't allow you to. What are you saying to me? Your doctor wasn't treating you for diabetes. That's all just a cover-up. You've been living a lie for the past nine months. How? That's where Mr. White comes in. He didn't just let you kill him, though. He put up a pretty good fight. Almost won. He put a hammer to your head after you had stabbed him in the stomach. That's how he got like this. That blow to your head? Short-term memory loss. He suffered something called cerebral hematoma, which means his brain has been damaged by a trauma to his skull. A lot of times, a patient in his situation develops epilepsy, constant dizziness, or even short-term memory loss, sometimes accompanied by impaired functionality. It's highly unlikely that he will remember any of what happened. Usually, patients that suffer from this kind of injury also develop mental patterns. But fortunately, as I've seen with John, he will only lose his memory on a daily basis after he goes to sleep at night instead of intermittently throughout the day. I just don't know if I can live with this anymore. I need to move on! I've, um, been seeing someone else. I... I just can't do this anymore! Miss Carver, I'm afraid that for your safety and for John's safety, you can't leave him right now. Any drastic change in his lifestyle or emotional upset could cause some very serious consequences. For him to become aware of any of his intricate emotional outlooks, Freud referred to it as the bank vault of emotions where all of his memories are stored deep in his mind. Over time, these thoughts can build up and become very violent. One traumatic event could cause John to lose complete control of himself. It's time to face the facts. Your wife is unfaithful. You come to an office in which you are no longer employed. It's a shame what could happen to a man who loses his mind. He loses everything. Here. You will need to give John a shot of this drug every night before he goes to sleep. It's the same drug he's been sedated with now. This is essential because his condition will cause him to become more and more unstable throughout the day. If he gives you any trouble, convince him that he has diabetes so that he will cooperate with the medication. Now that you've figured it out, I'd like you to try and remember what you did with the briefcase. I can't remember. Don't fuck around with us. Just tell us where the money is. I don't have your fucking money. I guess you're right, John. I was just fucking with you. Come on, John, let's take a ride. We have a lot to catch up on. Pretty fast, John. That's good. I'm impressed. But not fast enough.
things out of the house. Just get them out of the house now.